today I, I want us to focus on the fruits of the Holy Spirit as well as uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And uh, with that in mind, we also understand that we have the fruits of the Holy Spirit, we also have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So there are actually seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and these gifts of the Holy Spirit will uh, partly look at it where it is appearing in the scripture reading. And first I want us to read uh, the book of prophet Isaiah, uh, the book of prophet Isaiah, chapter 11. Uh, if you are there with me, you can open your Bible. The book of prophet Isaiah, chapter 11. Then we can look at verse 2 to 3 and hear what it has to say to us. It says this, The Spirit of the Lord will be given him wisdom and the knowledge and the skill to rule his people. He will know the Lord's will and honor him and find pleasure in obeying him. He will not judge, uh -huh, will not judge by appearance or hearsay. He will judge the poor fairly and defend the rights of the helpless. Yes, that one I've taken from the book of prophet Isaiah, chapter 11, from verse 3 to 4. Mm -hmm. So, number one, I want us to begin by that, noting uh, that verse. And secondly, I want us to go to the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Mm -hmm. The first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12. Chapter 12. First, uh, first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12. And here, the title is The Gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, St. Paul probably might not explain as we understand when we come to mention about uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. St. Paul will explain it in a different way. St. Paul will explain it in a different way and uh, this is what uh, I want us to, to see. Now, concerning what he wrote about the gifts from the Holy Spirit, I want you to know the truth about them, my friends. You know that while you are still earthen, you are led astray in many ways to worship the lifeless idols. I want you to know that no one who is led as uh, who is led by God's Spirit can say a curse on Jesus, and no one can confess Jesus as Lord without being guided by the Holy Spirit. Saint Paul, uh, Saint Paul tells us this in chapter four. Continue as we continue. There are different gifts of the spiritual. Uh, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit gives them. There are different ways of serving. But the same Lord is served. There are different abilities to perform service, but the same God gives ability to all of their particular service. The Spirit's presence is shown in some way in each other, in each person's, for the good of all. The Spirit gives one person a message full of wisdom, while another person, the same Spirit gives the message of knowledge. One, the same Spirit gives the person a faith to one person, while the other person it gives the power to heal. The Spirit gives one person the power to work miracles. To another it gives the, uh, the speaking of God's message, and yet another the ability uh, to give the difference between the gifts that come from the Spirit and that that do not come from the Spirit. I also have the issue of speaking in tongues. I want to stop there and now focus on what are these gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because we've seen uh, in the book of prophet Isaiah, there's a mention of a few, that is wisdom, knowledge, also the issue of understanding. St. Paul has also mentioned the same, he has mentioned about wisdom, he has mentioned about knowledge. But now, what does the church give us uh, on these gifts of the Holy Spirit? Having read on those scripture readings, now we can talk about uh, them now. The first one, people of God, is wisdom. Mm. And I remember very well when we were having our catechism, especially when we were about to receive the sacrament of confirmation, which I, I think partly we'll talk about it today. Uh, I remember very well, Mapaji Sab 
ya roho mtakatifu and you know before we were taken to class to be examined on those uh, gifts of the holy spirit i tell you we could sing like a song hmm sakramenti ya kipaimara kuna mapaji ngapi uh, ya sakramenti ya kipaimara ama katika kuna mapaji ngapi ya roho mtakatifu it was like a song kuna mapaji saba ya roho mtakatifu ekima akili shauri nguvu and you, know, you could sing to the last but i want to challenge you my dear christian i want to challenge you my dear follower i want to challenge you my dear viewer those who are following us on facebook how many gifts do you remember of the holy spirit just try to uh, compare with what you knew before the sacrament uh, receiving the sacrament of confirmation tuko tunaimba kama wimbo sijui ni ngapi bado nakumbuka wewe kama msikilizaji katika yale mapaji saba ya roho mtakatifu ni ngapi bado nayakumbuka hmm? hekima hakili shauri nguvu no no na uchaji wa you know all those we could just sing like a song and we could not fail the exam but the big question is baada ya kupokea sacrament hii ya kipaimara ni ngapi bado nazikumbuka and you know they are supposed actually to help us uh, to become good christians to become like the soldiers of our lord jesus christ because what we know is uh, being given the holy spirit is to guide, is to guide us to make us strong to make us like soldiers hmm, to carry out the works of god and remember uh, all these gifts of the holy spirit uh, i want just to mention first before we go to each one of them we have the gift uh, the gift of wisdom we have the gift of understanding we have we have the gift of uh, counsel we have the gift of knowledge we have the gift of fortitude we have the gift of piety then we have the gift of, of fear of the lord these are seven gifts of the holy spirit now what is wisdom wisdom is the ability to see things as god sees them yes this one was the common one hekima ni hekima ni uwezo wa kutambua mambo yale ambayo vile Mungu mwenyewe angependa kuyaona yani kati ya mazuri na mabaya tuyachague mazuri tuyachane na mabaya that is hekima that is wisdom and today wisdom we really need it because we need to see things as god will want us to see them not the way we human beings would want to see them the second one is understanding what is understanding understanding is the ability to perceive quickly the relationship between truths and you know the only say that there is one truth but you should know that this truth at times if we are not careful if we are not keen we can be confused along the way and fail to understand fail to see hmm? fail to see what god wants of us because at times you can be misled by philosophical truth truth about our culture truth about probably our politics and political affiliation and all that then we fail to know what god wants of us we fail to know the truth we fail to know what truth does uh, does god want us to to go with people of god I want also to tell you the truth that we need to be part of the people who evangelize. It is the month of our mother Mary. We need to support this work of evangelization. And with that people of God, we come to the end of our program today. Morning catechesis with me Father Mika Kibet Kemboi here at Radio Maria Nairobi broadcasting from the Akidasis of Nairobi. And Almighty God bless you all. Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much. May God bless you as we await the reception of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah hallelujah